I feel like what moves me to build is just uh, process curiosity and just also the physicality of it. Very much in a sense, like I love the labor aspect of work that takes three dimensions. Like I really like to like lace up my boots and like get sweaty to like make something. Wood shops like generally have a look and a feel to them. I think that's, those were all things that I was just attracted to. Yeah, I mean, I always kind of felt comfortable and very curious in sort of like a, a maker type space. A lot of my cre creativity has been shaped by the city, by New York, interactions with the city, the environment here, which is, you know, a lot of artists look to nature. I mean, I look to nature, but it's not that natural around us. Yeah, it's private business, but everyone always feels welcome walking into a deli, which I think is like a, you know, kind of a funny thing. What's up, Freddy? Um, like you certainly feel more welcome in your deli than you do going into a gallery. Get fed, meet up with the boys, and then, you know, hit school. It's like that was the morning routine. Bacon, egg, and cheese every day. <laughs> Just can't do it like I used to. But yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if, if it's the same for every New Yorker, but even if I'm not hanging out there, that like that feeling of familiarity and comfort at a, at a deli, bodega, whatever you want to call it, like, I don't know, can't be beat. The concept really came into full when I realized I didn't have gallery representation and wasn't sure I was going to show these works. So why not return the work to the place where the material was originally developed to support? You know, these are price stickers that are commonly used like in delis, grocery stores, bodegas. So why not make work that could sort of return itself to its like proper environment? This is an instance where I let the material sort of kind of define the work. I'm right on Canal Street, so it's still easy to get to some like pretty uh, like raw supply stores, there's a plastic place, there's a place for all types of rubber goods. Um, there's plenty of hardware stores, paint supply. You need a yoga mat? I got it. You need some hosing? I got it. I mean, whatever I need, I can have probably like in five or 10 minutes. Access to art is growing, which is a great thing, but in a creative environment, it's, it's almost competitive. Overlapping ideas and lack of originality like starts to become more and more of an issue. And in a way, I feel an urgency to make it and get it out and share it. Even if it's not my best work, like I want to sort of claim that space in this idea cloud, if you will, like artists are all working with tons and tons of ideas all the time. I think it's important to act quickly and get the ideas that you want to hold on to out there. Otherwise, you know, like someone else is going to come in and you got to move on to another idea. You know, through travel and being away from my studio, the iPhone Notes application sort of became this like outlet for me to kind of continue my practice, even if I was away. Investing in oil, fucking crazy. So I literally just opened up the Notes app one day and sort of started playing around with the tools that were like commercially available to me and kind of start this like, yeah, this series. There was definitely a lot of concern that the city would like it would be tough for the city to recover, but in my opinion, there's no better place to live. So it's those like physical interactions in the subway, like, like that, like rub off on you and kind of keep you kind of moving. The city energizes you, but you energize the city. And so if you can't put the energy into the city, then there's no reason to, to kind of be around.